So the FLORA2 trial evaluated the addition of chemotherapy, specifically platinum pemetrexid, to osimertinib as an initial therapy for patients with advanced EGFR mutant lung cancer. For this patient population, the standard of care is single-agent osimertinib. And in our trial, we asked, is there a potential benefit of combining that with chemotherapy compared to osimertinib alone? So this was a randomized trial comparing chemotherapy osimertinib to osimertinib, with the primary endpoint being progression-free survival as assessed by the investigators. open-label randomized phase three trial, and patients could continue therapy until or unless there was disease progression or until or unless there was toxicity that was not manageable and required uh, interruption or discontinuation of the therapy. And what we found in the study was that there was a superiority of the chemotherapy and osimertinib treatment, it led to about a nine-month increase in median progression-free survival in this patient population compared to uh, single-agent uh, osimertinib. So this is, a first of all, a demonstration that you can do combination clinical trials with uh, osimertinib and that you can enhance the efficacy of osimertinib with therapies like chemotherapy, which in this case led to a clinically meaningful improvement in progression-free survival. Now, <clears throat> it does come with added side effects in that you get the side effects of having chemotherapy, and also there is the inconvenience of having to come every three weeks for intravenous chemotherapy compared to osimertinib alone. So it does provide a new treatment option for patients with advanced EGFR mutant lung cancer, and I think we'll continue to need to be a discussion between the patient and the, and the physician as to the patient has advanced EGFR mutant lung cancer, should the patient start with osimertinib alone or the combination with chemotherapy. What the trial doesn't really help us answer with, which but will, but will hopefully come from future analyses and additional trials, is who needs chemotherapy, meaning which of our patients are most likely to need or most likely to benefit from chemotherapy. I think we'd like to tailor the more intensified therapy to those that are mo most likely to benefit from the treatment and or potentially save, and, and, and in those that can do fine with just a single agent osimertinib to start those individuals with single agent osimertinib. So there's more to certainly come from additional analyses of this study and, and future studies to inform us the appropriate use of combination chemotherapy with osimertinib uh, in the future.